And it's a long way from Richmond, but that's not keeping some central Virginians from heading down to Louisiana and Mississippi to help with the recovery effort. In fact, some have been there for days already, knowing how crucial every able body can be after a catastrophic storm. Our Jake Burns continues our team coverage. You got to be prepared for whatever. A Texas shaped pen helps shape Everett Taylor's view of what a hurricane can do to people's lives. Hundreds of people coming in with pretty much everything they own because they've been wiped out. I mean, it's heartbreaking. So, you know, you try to help them out as best you can. We give them different resources. The retired postal employee heading to Atlanta, then Mississippi to assess the damage done by Hurricane Ida. It looks horrible. I just pray that so far I heard it's only been one death and I hope it stay at one or at least at a minimal. Several teams from Central Virginia already on the ground in the Gulf. That includes several other Red Cross volunteers and members of the Henrico Fire Department who are a part of Virginia's Task Force 2, considered to be one of the nation's top urban search and rescue teams. It lets you know that, that a lot of people have given hearts. Retired Petersburg police officer Randy Batt's daughter rode out the storm just outside of New Orleans. Her family is safe, but says the damage around them is significant. Thankful for the teams coming their way. I'm just getting started and you see people like they got pens all over the place. Red Cross volunteers like Taylor are proud of their response pens because it represents the people they're able to comfort through disaster. And they just need to talk. They need a little reassurance, a little comfort and whatnot and we try to provide that. Taylor says if you can't travel to go help out, a financial contribution can help if you have the means. We have a link to do so on WTVR.com.